Hey guys, Michael Keo, Team Keo at Remax, and welcome back to the Barry Real Estate Update. Uh, six month, halfway through the year edition. <laughs> My goodness, July the 4th, uh, another gorgeous day. Um, we'll start with uh, condos and then we'll get into residential for the city of Barrie and then we'll look at Simcoe County compared to the first six months of this year compared to last year and then the same for uh, Barrie residential and the residential will include both condos and residential sales. So. Um, 93 new listings uh, this month, uh, sorry, in June of this year for condos compared to 77 from May of this year, which is down substantially from uh, June of last year where we're sitting at 120 listings. Uh, so listings are down about 22% year over year. Firm sales, we're sitting at 45 firm sales for June compared to 14 uh, in May, so over triple the sales uh, from May to June. And that's still up from June of 2019 where we're sitting at 36 firm sales. Uh, months of inventory, slight change. We're down to two months worth of inventory compared to three from last month, which is the same that we had in June of 2019, sitting at three months as well. Um, from that, we're going to, uh, we're at days on market. Days on market, we're sitting at 28 days, which is down substantially from May, where we're at 35, which is down again from June of last year, where we're sitting at 46 uh, days on market. Average sale price, $389,024, compared to May of this year, where we're at 354,931. And again, that's all compared to last year at this time, where we're sitting at $362,926. So about a 7.2% increase year over year. Barry Residential, uh, June, two, 271 new listings, which is almost exactly the same as what we had in May, where we're sitting at 281. But that's down substantially from June of last year, where we're sitting at 497 uh, listings. So our listings are off by about 45% year over year. Sales are way up. Uh, we'll talk about why in just a little bit. 271 firm sales this month compared to 185 from last year. And that's way up as well from June of 2019 where we're sitting at 193 firm sales. Uh, months of inventory, exactly the same as last month. We have one month for June, one month for May of this year, which is down from June of 2019 where we're sitting at three. M uh, days on market's about the same. We're 24 days for June, 26 for May, and then 29 days for June of last year. Average sale price, 585, 222,000 in Barrie, uh, compared to last month where we were at 542, 514. Uh, and then compare that year over year, $512,980 June of last year. So that's about a 14% increase year over year. So all good numbers, great, you know, right where we want to be. Let's take a look at Simcoe County, the first six months of this year compared to the first six months of last year. 6,006 6, new uh, listings, sorry, uh, for the first six months of this year compared to 7,351 listings last year. So listings are down about 18%. Sales were at 2,584 sales compared to 2,414 for the same time period last year. So list our sales are up about 7%. Inventory is down 18%, sales are up about 7%. Uh, average sale price, months of inventory, it's about two and a half months compared to 3.67, so that's down a, a fair bit. Uh, average sale price, we're sitting at $554,408 compared to $517,940 for the same time period last year. That's an increase of about 7.13%. So City of Barrie, we're looking at residential and condo together. Uh, year to date, we're sitting at 1,985 listings, which compared to 2,984 during the same time period last Last year, so that's a decrease of about 32% of the listings. Uh, sales were at 1,233 sales uh, compared to 1,109 for the same time period last year. That's up about 4.4%. Average sale price, uh, $528,943 compared to $487,260 during the same time period last year. So that's an increase of about four, uh, sorry, about 8.55%. So. You know, what's all this mean? How does this all shake down? Um, you know, we're seeing more and more multiple offers coming in. Um, lots of inventory are, are receiving multiple offers. Um, but the good news is, is that you guys aren't going crazy. You are, all of the stuff is selling within about $15,000 of, of each other. You know, a 1,400 square foot townhouse, a 2,000 square foot two story. Doesn't matter where they started. You guys are being awesome and, and not overpaying. You're going to a certain area and stopping, that's it. So. That's great. Um, 
so why why the increase in sales? You know, for an example, um, Simcoe County had 709 sales in June compared to 411 sales compared to May. So, you know, does that have, uh, is that because CMHC is changing the rules for the GDS and TDS? Is there, is it going to cause that much of an effect? And it'll be interesting to see, uh, you know, in, in the end of July and August, if the sales start to slow down and, and is it because of the new rule changes that CMHC is doing that there was that big push? So we'll keep an eye on that and let you know. So nutshell, uh, Simcoe County prices are up 7.13%. City of Barrie, we're up 8.55%. Interest rates are at an all-time low, guys. Um, inventory is low, um, but you know, if you're looking for a certain thing, talk to your real estate agent. Have them go out and knock on some doors. It's a great opportunity for people to sell their houses and put an awful lot of money in their pocket. Uh, you know, if they're going to move out of town, that sort of thing. So I'm going to leave you just with one thing. So even though um, uh, real estate in say Barrie is up 8.55%. Let's just take an example here. Say you bought a house last year at $500,000. Um, 8 uh, what, 8.55%, that's about $43,000. So if you put 10% down on your property a year ago, right, so $50,000, your house is now worth $42,000 more. So your $50,000 investment made you almost $43,000. Isn't that cool? What a great return on investment, and as long as the government doesn't change things, it's tax-free uh, exempt. It's uh, t capital gains exempt. So anyway, guys, thought I'd just throw that in there. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out, call, text, or email. Um, look at real estate as a long haul, guys. Overall, it is an unbelievable investment if you can do it, and if you have any questions, any at all, please feel free to reach out, call, text, or email. Enjoy your day.